All right, everybody. So this one uh, we did in class. So this page is okay. The next page, um, I made the video before. So what I want you to do is try your best to do this by yourself. Um, what I'll do is I'll show the solution. I don't have time. I got to run out. So I cannot show the video for this. But one thing I did want to show, this one we did in class. The one I really wanted to show with you guys was this one, four and five. Okay, four and five is really not too bad because we've, We've done them in class, so it's just kind of a refresher. Um, is the function blah, 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 continuous at x equals seven? So you just have to remember the idea. What is the definition of being continuous? What There are three parts for being continuous. What I want you to do is look in your notes and try and find what does it mean to be continuous at a point, okay? Um, let's say you're coming back. And here, notice that if I have some, let's take a look at this. Let's say if I have this graph, right? And is it continuous at the point A? Well, the only way it's continuous from the point A, if the limit from the left equals the limit from the right, and it's also equal to the point. And that's the three part definition of continuity. So what you have to do from here is you have to show that the limit from the left, the limit from the right, and the point itself is all equal to the same number. So let's see if it is. Well, actually, you know what? Try and do it by yourself, right? So let's say if I have, try and do this question by yourself. So let's say if I have the number seven, right? When we look at this graph over here, there's a left side of seven, and there's a right side of seven. So which one of these equations up here for the piecewise, implies that it's left of the seven. Like what is left of the seven? It has to be this one over here because it's saying X is less than seven, less than or equal to seven. So here what we need to do is we need to plug seven into this and let's see if we get close. So here, so is three plus square root two plus X, right? Let's see, so this becomes three plus square root two plus seven. So that's three plus square root nine, which is three plus three, which is equal to six. Okay, um, so now we have to see if it's equal to the right side. Okay, so what about seven from the right? Notice we're gonna use this equation over here. All right, so what I want you to do is plug in seven into this and see what we get. Well, now we have um, eight minus square root of seven minus three, right? I'm sorry, let's do x, x minus three, right? So then eight, eight minus square root of seven minus three, which is eight minus square root of four, which is eight minus two, which is equal six. So, so far, so good. So notice that we have the left, we have the right. Now we need to plug in the point. So then how, like when, when X is seven, do you have a value when X is seven? Yes, it's gonna be this one because here it shows in the inequality that this is less than or equal. So you have less than or equal. So you're allowed to plug in seven into this, but hey, didn't we already plug in seven into this? We did it right here. It's just equal to six. So like if I say F of seven, right? You plug seven into this and notice we already did we already did plug in seven into this so it's equal to six so then here we can imply that this function is continuous at x at x equals seven because the limit from the left equals the limit from the right which is also equal to the limit of the function okay all right let's try and do the next one. here for this question it's pretty nice but what i want you to do is for what values of C is the function G of X continuous over all reals? So if you don't remember how to do this, what I want you to do is go to Desmos and type this in, type this in, add the slider. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get like a value of C, right? And you're gonna move the slider left and right. And then you wanna find the value of C that makes these two functions continuous. All right, if you feel like you don't remember. 
and then you'll find some value. But if you want to do it algebraically, all you need to do is you just say um, cx plus 5 equals cx squared, right? Now here, we're going to plug in x equals negative 1. So when x is negative 1, what is the c value? So it's actually pretty quick. So this just becomes c times negative 1 plus 5 equals c times negative 1 squared. So then this becomes negative c plus 5 equals c, right? And then now that you have this, let me, I don't have much space. I'm just going to put it over here. Um, so now you have negative c plus 5 equals c. So plus c plus c, right? So plus c plus c. And then what do I have? I have 5 is equal to 2c. And then if I have 5 equals 2c, uh, divide 2, divide 2, so that c is equal to 5 over 2, or 2.5. So if you use, if you take the slider and put it at 2.5, it'll make these two functions connect each other. And that's the idea of the question. All right, um, let's continue on. Here, this question, I'll go over it in class because I have to run to uh, my AP Calculus training in Brooklyn. So um, this you can do, this one's not too bad, right? This one, Letter D is really nice, this question here. Okay, I didn't give it to you before, but I want you to really think about it. Oh, I remember actually shout outs to shout outs to Callie because she said, Mr. If I have X equals some, I think the vertical asymptote. Um, so what I want you to do is if you haven't done this, pause the video because I'm going to spoil what the answer is. But I think the vertical asymptote was 2 over 3 and 2 over 3. I mean, the vertical asymptote was 2 over 3. So then how do you take a number that's left of 2 over 3 and how do you take a number that's right of 2 over 3? And the idea is for this, um, try and be clever. Pick a number that's left of negative 2 over 3. I'm sorry, uh, what was it, negative 2 over 3? Yeah, it was negative 2 over 3. Pick a number left of negative 2 over 3 and pick a number right of negative 2 over 3. Okay, and that's the idea. Oh, I forgot. Was it 2 over 3 or negative 2 over 3? I forgot, but you have to be clever on finding what's the left or the right of the fraction. But shout out to Cali. Oh, God, that's not how you spell Cali. Sorry. I was thinking California, but okay. Um, okay, so letter D is... Yeah, okay, so it was left of 2 over 3. Um, this and this should not be too bad. Um, this was, if you don't want to do this question, you don't have to. I messed up a little bit. I made it too difficult. Um, this one was very good. It's the same idea as before, but the idea is, is this a continuous function? Is this a continuous function? How do you know that this is continuous? We talked about this. Notice that this is linear, right? This is constant. Like, what is the visual of this graph? You have to know what this graph looks like. You have to know what this graph looks like. What is this graph? Remember, it's a polynomial. And what did we talk about a linear, a constant, and a polynomial when it came to the idea of continuity, okay? Um, and for this part over here, not too bad. Okay, I we will go over all these questions tomorrow, but what I want you to do is try and do every question. All right, enjoy.